We are here to honor a man who dedicated his career to improving our community. Phil Banks worked for the city of Rochester for 16 years. Sadly, we lost Phil on November 2nd, 2009, when he was the city's deputy commissioner of economic development. He is the reason we are standing here this morning. 1000 Drive-In Park was once a bustling hub of industry. There were more than 100 people working here in 17 buildings to manufacture photographic film and paper. That changed in 1991 when production was halted and the site was abandoned, and for two decades, it stood as one of the most contaminated sites in the city. It was Phil Banks who stepped forward and saw this site's potential. It was Phil Banks who knew that if we could get this site cleaned up, much needed jobs will return. And thanks to his vision, which he put into motion in 1998, and helped, he helped the city acquire this property, making it eligible for grant funding and assistance for cleanup. Government, no one achieves anything alone. The most effective public servants are the te true team players, and Phil was among the best. Working cohesively as a team, he and his colleagues from Economic Development and Environmental Services secured three and a half million dollars in the grant funding and developed a strategic plan to return this parcel to productive use. Sadly, we lost Phil before his vision would play out. He died in 2009, one year before the final building of this parcel came down. But through the work of his colleagues, the vision continued to move forward. In 2014, the state made it official. This former Brownfield site was all cleaned up and ready for development. I know that Phil will be proud to know that earlier this year, 1000 Drive-In Park was sold to Emberger Brothers Holding LLC. <laughs> Frank is here with us today, and we are thankful that he and his team will use this land for light industrial use, creating much needed jobs. Harry Truman once said, it's amazing what you can accomplish if you do not care who gets the credit. It's true. If you research the long history of this site, Phil name seldomly appears. What I think he does deserve the credit for his tremendous contribution to our community. So we are dedicating this street today and naming this site in Phil Banks name. Phil Banks way will be a road to innovation. It will be a road to progress and prosperity. It will be a road to more jobs, safer, more vibrant neighborhoods and better educational opportunities demonstrating that the lessons that Phil left for all of us in our community, and we will always be grateful for his contribution.